Hello students, let us start our session of chapter number 12, Atoms. Here, in the atomic structure, the important charge carrier, it is available, that is electron. And that electron is invented by J.J. Thomson in 1897, while he did experiment in discharge tube, which is filled with the uh, gas in low pressure. And during that experiment, Electric charge is catered and that charge is defined as electrons. Here, atom is electrically neutral as whatever the number of negative charges are present which is balanced by the number of positive charges. And that atomic atom that was first invented by J.J. Thompson himself in 1890. It. And he gave that atomic structure by the plum pudding model. In that model he defines that all the positive charge carriers are uniformly distributed throughout the volume of the atom and negative charge carriers are embedded with it and it gives like a pair of charge carrier. Then, here as we know, as we have already studied in chapter number 8, in which electromagnetic wave is present, which is, re which is radiated throughout the space in air by electric and magnetic field. This radiation takes place by the oscillations of molecules and atoms because of that charge carriers and Interaction of this atom or the molecules are also present with its neighbor atoms. Another phenomena can be present that uh, if light emission is available in that discharge tube, which is a gas filled discharge tube heated in a flame or excited electrically in a glow of tube, only having a certain discrete wavelengths and which gives you the electromagnetic spectrum. While this light is emitted by that specific wavelength, it appears like a bright line. In that uh, wavelength spectrum, in that gases, average spacing available between that atomic structure and radiation emitted due to the individual atoms available rather than the interaction between these atoms or molecules. Here we are taking hydrogen as an example which is having a one electron and so that which is the simplest model is available which gives a set of lines with the relative position between the lines. So, it suggests the internal structure of atom very easily with the less complexity and based on that radiation emitted by that hydrogen atom can be visible easily. In 1885, the Jacob Balmer gives the empirical formula of wavelength of a group of lines which is emitted by that hydrogen atom. And in 1906, Rutherford gives a complete atomic structure by the help of scattering of alpha particles, which is completely different by the model which is given by J.J. Thompson and later it is defined that the model given by the J.J. Thompson is incorrect and the model, the atomic structure given by the Rutherford is acceptable universally. In 1911, Hans Geiger and uh, Marsden gives the experimental result of the Rutherford's theory based on the planetary motion of uh, planetary motion around a sun. Likewise, the electrons are moving in a circular form around the nucleus. This structure is given by their 
students and according to this model the positive charge is concentrated at the center which is carrying a most of the mass of the atom which is concentrated in a very small volume which is known as nucleus and whatever the amount of positive charges are concentrated in the nucleus by the same amount of negative charge carriers electrons are revolving around the nucleus just like a planets are revolving around the sun now let us first understand the alpha particle scattering model given by the and based on that ruthard ford gives the model of atom so that is a alpha particle scattering and ruthard ford's nuclear model of atom so here as we can see that source of alpha particles are available that generate a beam of 5.5 mega electrovolt alpha particles which is emitted from a uh, 214 to 83 bi that is a radioactive source which is transmitted through the thin metal foil that designed by the gold foil as you can see in the diagram here very narrow beam which pass through that lead bricks and this beam allowed to fall onto the thin foil of gold that is having a thickness 2.1 into 10 to the minus 7 meter this scattered alpha particles are falling onto the screen and it will be observed and detail analysis can be done this structure in a schematic form it is designed it is defined over here as from the source of alpha particle 5.5 mega electrovolt alpha particles will pass through the lead bricks which is concentrated and give you the common direction to move the alpha particles which give you the thin beam of alpha alpha particles which will pass through the uh gold thin gold foil in between a very narrow beam is allowed through, through which beam of alpha particles will pass through it which is concentrated onto the screen that is a zinc sulfide screen is available through which uh using detector or microscope we can detect the scattered alpha particle we can observe it this scattered alpha particles striking onto the screen which produce the light flashes and this flashes viewed through that microscope and distributed the number of alpha particles can be studied based on the angle of scattering that is the theta so here by that analysis it observed that about 0.14% of alpha particles scattered by more than 1 degree angle one particle in 8000 deflected particles are uh, deflected by the angle more than 90 degree here ruther for argue that here if alpha particles will deflect at backward side it means that alpha particle experience some repulsive force this repulsive force should be larger than alpha particle will deviate and deflect at backward direction this repulsive force is provided by the part of the atom and that should be a positive charge this positive charge should be concentrated at the center which is tightly bounded so that this incoming alpha particle uh could get close to that positive charge and if it will available very close which is encounter the large deflection and here based on that in ruthford's nuclear model of atom it defines that entire positive charge and most of the mass of the atom are concentrated in the nucleus 
and electrons are moving in orbital path about the nucleus. The size of this nucleus is about 10 raise to minus 15 to 10 raise to minus 14 meter. And the size of the atom which is available around 10 raise to minus 10 meter. Electrons are available at some distance far from the nucleus. That is 10,000 to 1 lakh times the size of the nucleus. So here we can justify that nuclear atomic structure is itself the empty space. So if the atom is uh, available with largely empty space, then most of the alpha particles will move at right side of the thin metal foil as we can observe over here that most of the alpha particles make angle theta at right side and when alpha particles come near to the nucleus it fill large electric field intensity and scattered with the large angles. This atomic electrons having been so light that they do not affect the alpha particles. So here gold foil is very thin and alpha particles will not suffer more than one scattering during this passage. So alpha particles are nuclei of helium atoms. So for that we can say that helium atoms having two units it means two positive charge and two negative charge. So here helium atom having a two mass of atom. Here for the gold it is denoted as charge of gold denoted as a ZE where E is the charge of single charge carrier, single charge particle. So Z defines the number of charge particles. So here we can say that ZE As you can see over here, ZE, it means E is the charge of single particle and if it is multiplied with the Z, then it will give you the total charge. It defines that Z give you the number of charge particles present in the atomic structure which will give you the atomic number and for the gold that is Z equal to 79. So here nucleus of gold is about 50 times heavier than alpha particles which remains stationary throughout the scattering process. So here the trajectory of an alpha particle can be computed uh, based on the Newton's second law of motion and the Coulomb's law of electrostatic force of repulsion which is available between two alpha particles which are positively charged nucleus. So we can define the Coulomb's law that is F equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 Q2 by R square. Here Q1 that is a helium charge which is defined as a which is having a two charged particles it means twice E and Q2 that is a charge of gold the total charge of gold that is atomic number into single charge that is a ZE it means 79 into E divided by R square which R defines the distance between alpha particle and nucleus. So here the force is directed along the line joining the alpha particle and the nucleus. The magnitude and direction of the force of an alpha particle continuously change as it approaches the nucleus and reduces away from it. So as you can see in the diagram over here, as the graphical representation is available, based on the number of scattered particles detected and scattering angle. So here it defines that that at a smaller angle less number of 
alpha particle uh, uh, are scattered and as the angle will be increases the number of particles will be reduces based on its parabolic effect clear here we are going to end this session hope you understood thank you